The present and future of WWE is bright when you have young talent making a mark in the company like Rhea Ripley. She is a featured WWE superstar on WWE Monday Night Raw on the USA Network. And on Monday, September 6th, Raw and Ripley will be at the FTX Arena, formerly American Airlines Arena, in Miami. What a way to celebrate Labor Day in the States and South Florida. Thank you, Rhea. Hey, is there such a holiday as Labor Day, a non-working day in Australia? Hey, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, we have Australia Day, but people still have to work on it, which is pretty unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I was normally one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the spirit of Labor Day, what does Rhea Ripley like to do on a free day in her free time? Oh, to be honest, I'm pretty boring. I just wake up and I go to the gym and I, I stay there for, I want to say, like three hours and then I'll go home and just sit with my, with my dogs and maybe take them for a walk and that's about it. <laughs> oh, Rhea, what kind of dogs do you have? Um, I have a Pomsky and I have a Bull Terrier. Oh, that's great. Hey, tell us about what fans can expect in Miami for Monday Night Raw on September 6th. Well, they can expect a whole lot of brutality from me. If I'm in the ring with someone, they're getting their head kicked off. Um, but action, everything, it's going to be super, super exciting and entertaining, and you don't want to miss it. You want to be there. You want to be close to the action because I guarantee that you're going to have the time of your life. Hey, although you're a young talent, you have a wealth of experience. How old were you when you started training to become a pro wrestler? Um, I was actually 16 years old when I started wrestling, which is wild to think that I'm 24 now, going on 25, so I've been wrestling for nearly nine years. It's absolutely insane. Who are some of the people in Australia and the United States who have helped you in your training? Um, people in Australia that have helped me with my training would be my two coaches, uh, Matt and Chris Basso uh, at Riot City Wrestling. They really did help me a bucket load. They taught me everything that I know and there's definitely a lot more people there as well that taught me a lot about wrestling and about myself but someone from the performance center that really held me together when I was falling apart is Scotty Too Hotty. He, being in his class, I was in his class for three months and it was only me and Raquel Gonzalez and then a whole bunch of dudes. We were the only two girls and Scotty, I look at him sort of like a dad, like a second dad he really did help us grow and become the competitors that we are today. He helped us through all the struggles that we had and just made us better in the long run. So Scotty is my number one. Rio, even in Riot City Wrestling, was there a lot of training with the guys because there wasn't as many women involved there? Yeah, most of the time I was one of the only girls at training, <laughs> <laughs> which I actually don't mind. Like, I, I do love training with girls, but I feel like with the men it's rougher so it really did toughen me up well how is riot city wrestling compared to wwe monday night raw <laughs> <laughs> uh, riot city wrestling is always going to be home it's always going to be home where monday night raw it's a different sort of home it's a, it's a stressful home i want to say <laughs> <laughs> get a lot more eyes on you <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> instead of the 100 people in attendance it's a lot more yeah, that's true. And, but it's so much fun, too, because when you go out there in a huge crowd, like at the FTX Arena in Miami, just being there in front of fans, now fans are back, what is that like? And when you really hit it out of the park, what is that feeling like? Oh, it's incredible. It's so, so good to have that feedback from the fans, like live in attendance and just hearing it straight away. Um, and to hear them like absolutely go nuts when you do your entrance, like it's such a special moment. I really do like get goosebumps every single time and it gets me so revved up for the match, which makes me go out there and just kill it that much more. And it's just having that time without fans that whole year was just so incredibly challenging, but I feel like we all powered through it and we learned so much about ourselves, but having them back, like we all just get so excited, like so much more excited than we did before. I think we took them for granted a little bit when now we're just like happy to have them back and it's just, it's so exhilarating. Well, South Florida will be looking forward to this. It's going to be really cool. And someone that you've had some incredible battles with, 
What is it like working with the Queen Charlotte Flair? <laughs> oh, it's always pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's uh, getting in the ring with Charlotte. It's always, uh, it's. I always learn so much about myself, and I do love stepping in the ring with her. It's always a tough competition, and she brings it. She brings everything that she's got, and I love that about her. Like I love in the ring and just like. Absolutely going mental and just brutalizing each other and it's something we always bring to the table when we step in the ring together. And Charlotte Flair is now the Raw Women's Champion. So for you, Rhea, is that what you have your sights set on again? Because you're a Raw Women's Champion and also you've been a multi-time champion, just other championships you've held. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll never take my eyes off the gold. Um, unfortunately it's wrapped around Charlotte's waist and I have had a couple tries at it and I haven't been able to pull it off so I think I might have to wait my turn but I'm not done yet I'm not done fighting um, I definitely want another go at Charlotte and I want that Royal Women's Championship back Rhea, are you from Queensland? Queensland? No, no I'm from Adelaide, South Australia Because oh, I was going to say that could be the Queen versus the Queen <laughs> Yes. Oh, my God. That would have been a great fun. <laughs> All right. We're going to a couple more questions. We'll wrap this up. Rhea, what has it been like just this whole process going through the COVID? And you talked about fans and now having that feedback back from them. But what was it like for you just to go in through that and WWE continuing on safely and healthy, pushing forward? Um, I think it was a great thing to do, especially um, at such a time like that where people needed something to sort of distract themselves from the like what was going on in the world. So I'm glad that we still had that live on TV. But for like people like me, like I debuted on Raw uh, in that time, so it was a struggle for me to understand how the crowd felt about me and like what I was doing, like if it was right or wrong. Like I wasn't too sure, but. After a while, you sort of just get the hang of it, and it becomes like a second nature, and you just you learn and you like hone that craft. Um, but it definitely did take a long time to learn how to um, perform in front of zero people in attendance. Well, there are many fans of Rhea Ripley, and now you're getting that instant feedback, like in Miami on September 6, Labor Day, for when WWE Monday Night Raw is at the FTX Arena. And I'm curious, Rhea. There are many fans of you. Are there any Raw superstars in particular that Rhea Ripley is a fan of? <laughs> I feel like you're setting me up here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not trying to set you up. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, um, man. Okay, so I am a huge Miz fan. A huge Miz fan. I adored him growing up. I thought he was the best thing that I had ever seen. I had a Miz cardboard cut out, like a life-size one, so... He's definitely one that I'm still, like, starstruck by. Well, Miz will be happy to hear that because if we mention Miz anywhere, anytime, it's always a good thing, and he's always glad about that. <laughs> so I'm glad you said the Miz, and it wasn't a setup. <laughs> All right, Rhea. I'll let you get going. I'll, I'll wrap it up with this. You've had some big matches, big moments in WWE, and there's going to be many more to come for you. What so far have been a couple of standout ones that stick out most in your mind right now? Um, I always go with the same couple, and it's my match with Io Shirai at the second May Young Classic, because that really did cement my career and everything that has come after that. That was just something that I didn't know if I would be able to accomplish, and I did. Um, and then also my NXT champ uh, Women's Championship match against Shayna Baszler. Uh, absolutely incredible moment for me and having the crowd swarm the ring after I won the championship and I have my own little mosh pit in the ring like oh. it was so special to me so so special well there will be more special moments upcoming and you'll be able to see Rhea Ripley and the Raw Superstars Monday Night Raw September 6th Labor Day Monday USA Network from the FTX Arena in Miami Rhea Ripley thank you so much no worries man